So let's read the problem first. For a given input value x, for a given input value x, the function h, now it says the function h, that's why right here it says h of x, right? Because what's our function called? h, and so that's why there's an h here. For a given va input value x, the function h outputs a value y. So our input is what? X. X. And our output is? Y. Our, out, our input is not X, Y. What is our input? X. Just X. Now, I said to you, we like to solve for the output variable. What is the output variable? Y. y. We need to solve for the output variable. Say it. And so I've got my equation right here, and my output variable is y, so I need to get what by itself? Y. y. Now in this case, y is the same thing as what? F of x. So I'm going to solve for y, and then I'm going to substitute in y's place f of x. Because that y and f of x mean the same thing. So let me rewrite the function. 6x plus y equals 4x plus 11y. What do I do first to solve for y? I could subtract 6x from both sides. There were other things I could have done, but that'll work. And so I have y equals negative 2x plus 11y. What do I do now to solve for y? Subtract 11y on both sides. And so I have negative 10y equals negative 2x. What do I do now to get y by itself? I divide by negative 10 on both sides because negative 10 is being multiplied by y. And the opposite of multiplication is division. division. And so I have y equals 2x over 10, which reduces to be y equals x over 5, right? Or 1 -fifth x. So right here, guys, this is what y equals, right? But they don't want me to put it, the way I have it expressed here, it's in terms of y. They don't want it in terms of y. What does the question say? Write the formula for h of x in terms of? X. So in the place of y, I need to put what? X. H of x. Okay, so I'm going to go, and in the place of y right here, right here I'm going to put y, uh, h of x. So I've got h of x equals what? h of x equals what? x over 5. X over five. All I did was replace the y with h of x. Okay? All right, so we're going to work this activity, writing function rules from equations. And on Khan Academy, you can just search this right here, and our goal is to get five in a row when, we're, when I'm done teaching this. So let's read the question. It says, for a given input value m, the function f outputs a value n to satisfy the following equation. So the input is m, and the output is n. Now, normally, our input is what? x, and our output is y. Now, when we're solving an equation, do we usually solve for x or for y? What do we normally want to get by itself? Y. y. So we normally want to get the output by itself. Say output. Output. Okay, so in this case, the input is m and the output is n. So on this problem, I would like to get what by itself? n. And so I'm going to add 5 on both sides. And so I have 6n equals 7m plus 7. And now I'm going to divide by 6 on everything. And so I have n equals 7m over 6 plus 7 over 6. Now, n equals is the same thing as f of m equals. Did y'all realize that's the same? It's just like f of x 
is the same thing as y, isn't it? Okay. Well, f of m, f of m is the same thing as n, isn't it? And so I can write my answer as f of m equals 7 over, I mean, 7m over 6 plus 7 over 6. Remember, we're trying to get the output by itself. And so this is our answer right here. So this one right here says, for a given input value u, so our input is what? And our output, the function h, outputs a value v. So our input is u, our input is u, and our output is what? V. v. Okay. And what do we say? In equations, we normally solve for the what? Output. output variable. So I'm trying in this equation to solve for what? Which output, yes, which is which letter? V. v. So I've got, let me rewrite the equation for u plus 8v equals negative 3u plus 2v. And so we just got done saying we're going to solve for the variable that stands for the output. Okay, so v stands for the output. So I want to get v by itself, so I'm going to subtract 2v on both sides. And so I have 4u plus 6v equals negative 3u. <clears throat> And then I'll subtract 4u on both sides. And so I have 6v equals negative 7u. And then what do I do to get v by itself? Divide by 6 on both sides. And so v equals negative 7u over 6. And so you can see right here it asks us for h of what? H of U. Well, V means H of what? V. No, V does not mean H of V. V means H of v. U. So H of U equals negative 7U over 6. What variable do I have right here? V. And what variable do I have right here? V. U. Okay. On this one, it says for a given input... What? X, the function F outputs a Y. So your input is X and your output is Y. And we normally try to get the variable that stands for the output by itself. So which variable are we trying to get by itself? Y. So what's the first thing on this equation I should do to try to get Y by itself? Distribute the 5. Y'all say distribute five. So I have y plus six equals five x minus twenty. Now what do I do to get y by itself? Subtract what on both sides? Six on both sides. And so I have y equals five x minus twenty six, right? But that's not our answer. Is it? Because they want us to say it in terms of f of x, don't they? So instead of saying y equals 5x minus 26, I need to say f of x equals 5x minus 26, don't I? What variable do I have right here? x, and what variable do I have here? See how they're matching? 